Now at 11, protesters take over the streets of Miami. A look from the air as they block major highways. And here's a look from the ground. They're chanting, hands up, don't shoot, in reference to the deaths of two unarmed black men at the hands of white police officers across the country. And take a look at this, a sea of headlights. Traffic backed up for miles as the protesters shut down part of I-195 at one point. All of this happening during one of Miami's most high-profile and well-attended events, Art Basel. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Erica Sargent. This is one of several protests in major cities across the nation. Tonight, CBS 4 News brings you live team coverage of these street demonstrations. We begin with CBS 4's Brian Andrews. Brian. Well, Erica and Rick, you know, here we are looking at all the art and with the world looking at the art, the protesters knew that they would be able to get some attention. So they got on social media using hashtags like Ferguson to Miami and Rifa lives and took their protest not only into the street, but up onto the expressway over there. We begin in the sky with the view from above of a night of protests, a vigil becoming a march on an expressway, I-195, heading over toward Miami Beach. The protesters going westbound in the eastbound lanes, crossing traffic, stopping vehicles. Lots of people, lots of cars, lots of uncertainty. And then the protesters made their way into the Midtown Miami area, home of the Art Miami Festival, where thousands are enjoying artwork from all over the world. The perfect stage, perhaps, for their message to be heard on. As the marchers pass through, holding their hands in the air, raising their voices, carrying signs, and marching for what they say is a system that is broken. The march continued through Midtown down into Wynwood where the protesters mingled with Friday night club goers, restaurant patrons, and art gallery visitors, as the beat of the streets this night was protest in Miami. It was a massive display of civil disobedience, stopping traffic in Wynwood, where they laid in the street for four minutes and 30 seconds, a tribute to lives lost. Who's thinking about Reefa? Who's thinking about Mike Brown? We are. Who's thinking about Eric Gardner? We are. And along the protest route, we met these educators. The greatest lesson oh. we can teach our students, which is activism. Absolutely. Yeah. Being myself, me personally, so therefore it's not just them, it could be me as well. So therefore I'm protesting for my livelihood as well as my, children, my students' livelihood. No justice, no peace. Organizers of the protest tonight told me that they think they had about 600 people in total participating and they are going back on social media calling for another get together on Tuesday at a site still to be determined. We talked to the Miami Police Department tonight. No arrests, no injuries connected to these nonviolent, peaceful protests. Live near Midtown, Brian Andrews, CBS 4 News tonight.